go ahead and lay down. And I want you to just go ahead and first lay flat on the ground, palms up, and I want you to notice if you feel like you have a curve that extends from your tailbone all the way up to your bra line. And if you have that, that probably means you have a tendency to want to arch your back out even when you're standing up on, you know, off the floor. So I want you to notice that. Notice also if you feel like your chin tends to look up like that, ideally you want to have it a slight tuck. So if you're noticing that, that's a pretty good sign that you want to tend to carry around your body in an arched back. And it's remembering that even as we're laying here. So here's a very simple way to relax the tight muscles and activate the weak muscles. Bring your knees in. Go ahead and put your hands on your belly. Keep that air space in your back. You should feel like your tailbone's digging into the ground. Now, you're gonna take a big inhale and think expand the, the front and back and side to side, top to bottom. So it's a 360 degree breath. You're gonna think to expand all your tummy and your chest as you inhale. Now, as you exhale, say shh. And I want you to think as if your ab for the bread dough and your hands is a rolling pin, think like everything is Squishing all the way up to your sternum because your abs go all the way to your sternum. So it will be inhale and then exhale, rolling pin goes up. Now as you do that, I want your tailbone to come under, but your glutes to be relaxed. Tailbone comes under, glutes are completely relaxed and chin slightly tucks in as you feel those abs squish down to the floor. It's like you're taking the bread dough and you're squishing it till it all touches the floor. That's what you want. You want your belly activated and pulling to the floor, zero airspace. Okay, let's do it one more time. So remember, chin slightly tucks in. You should feel that arch now, but we're gonna do a big inhale. So big inhale. And then think, core comes in like a rolling pin, squishing everything, low back goes straight flat onto the floor. You should feel that activation in your abs, and then you should also not feel any tightness in your glutes. Now right here, keep it curled, and I want you to do an exhale with a shh sound. So ready, inhale, but keep it in, and now shh. Think like your belly button's pulling up as you do that shh until all the air is out, uh, until you feel that your yourself go <coughs> a little bit. That is curling your core into the floor. It relieves back tension, it helps you reconnect to your abs and the front side of your body, and it also keeps your hip flexors from taking all of the work from the abs. So you're gonna be having your, um, you know, bottom of the stair step, whatever you have, that's a little elevated step for you to bring your shoulders back, lift up those hips, dig in those heels, and think curl. So you're thinking to make a big C shape with your back, lift up one leg, act like someone's pulling your hamstring muscle through your leg, Curling that back really well so you feel the stretch in your back. Inhale and exhale. And then heel comes down, we'll lift it back down. And that is your paraspinal stretch. Okay, so you're gonna start with your feet when you're doing a squat. You wanna start with your feet slightly wider than hip width. You wanna have those feet toe to heel straight, of course. Now, when we're doing a squat to, in order to get more glute activation, because that's what we're gonna be doing here is working on strengthening your glutes because when your pelvis is tipped forward, oftentimes the glutes shut off. So in order to really activate the maximum amount of glute, we really wanna pretend like we're, there's a piece of paper on the floor and you're pushing with your feet and pushing your knees out to tear the paper as you push your knees. So that right there, you're automatically gonna feel it more in your glutes. Now, go ahead and grab your door handle and I'm, I'm going to show you first what not to do okay so this is what not to do when you're doing this you see how much I stuck my butt out that's not what you want to do that is also inactivating your abs so what you want to do is you want to have a slight little tilt in your low back but not a lot a slight tilt in your low back as you go all the way down and you can pull on that door so that you're sitting back in your heels now you're squeezing your glutes all the way down and then you're squeezing your glutes as you come up. You can also tuck your chin slightly as you do this and make sure that you still have that tilt. Don't, don't tuck under at the end. That's what a lot of us do. You're gonna have that slight little space in your low back as you go down and then push these out and think split the paper in the floor and then they squeeze the glutes all the way up and then you can kind of tuck a little bit at the end 
you'll get even more glutes. One more thing, really important. If you can only go down to right here before you start to tuck or excessively arch, that's okay. We're, our goal here is to strengthen your glutes. So you may only be able to go to here. But if you notice your back starts to round or you start to really excessively tilt out your back, just go to where you can. And there you have it. I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. As always, happy to answer additional questions and I love to hear your comments. So feel free to let me know below if you like this, if you're gonna try it, love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.